All right, anybody that's been following this build knows that I'm working on putting a front wheel drive unit in the back end of this rail. And anybody that's thought anything about it knows that we're going to have to lock the steering. So what we had before was the steering rack back here. Now what I'm going to do is work on building a non-steering steering rack replacement. So I'll show you some of the parts and what I came up with to solve this problem. The whole thing is pretty simple. Just got to lock these in position uh, straight ahead at the exact length of the original steering rack. You can do that with piece of square tubing. Weld that onto the end of it. Bolt it into place. Uh, the way I'm going to bolt it into place is I'm going to cut an opening between my support brackets so I can get into it like that after it's been built. And I made a collar to be able to slide the boot up over the top, lock the boot on protect everything from dust. These are the brackets that I'm going to mount on it. Well, do it. Use it to mount the non-steering steering rack. I'm going to use all the original mount points as far as where it bolted to the cross member. Two bolts right here. Still have to drill that. Come on, cooperate with me. And then of course I have to drill a hole to be able to get into that bolt, torque it down. The hole will be on the bottom so that no trash gets in it after I'm done. I'll assemble the entire steering rack, tie rod ends and all, and then install it. And here we have it set up as it's going to be put in. Uh, nothing's welded yet. Had to cut a little clearance on that. Forward mount. So that the motor mount would clear. Now all I got to do is center it up and tack weld it. So I've welded it together, ready to install it. Got the holes underneath of it and the wrench will fit down in there to tighten the nuts. Now all I have to do is Of course, put the tie rod ends in it with the out of here so I can get to the nuts and lock it down in place. And that should work. 